This is going to be an exciting summer for us at Auto Rock. We're going to be testing new lander configurations, uh, basically adding two cameras onto our landers to allow us to triangulate down on a single fish and estimate its size. So this summer we'll be testing these stereo camera designs on our landers in Otter Rock Marine Reserve. Otter Rock Marine Reserve is located just north of Newport. It's the smallest of Oregon's marine reserves, covering just 1.2 square miles. The intended goal of marine reserves in Oregon are to protect species, habitats, and biodiversity in Oregon's nearshore waters, and serve as living laboratories for us to learn more about these dynamic nearshore environments. We use Otter Rock as a testing site for evaluating new tools to sample these marine communities. We'll be putting out moorings just adjacent to Otter Rock Marine Reserve to sample larval fish that are recruiting into this nearshore habitat. We have a diverse array of nearshore habitats, including dynamic rocky reefs, sandy bottom, and seagrass meadows. What's is that little purple thing up there? Yeah, this is a sea star, this is a sea star, here's oh another sea star over here. Once you see one, you see them all. Here's another one in here. that we do as coast watchers is to um, make observations of what we find on the beach and today we're actually looking um, for sites to survey for sea star recruitment. Uh, we normally find the sea stars in nice crevices where there are mussels and barnacles, especially some small barnacles for the baby sea stars to eat. And what we're trying to do is measure those sea stars um, and look for recruitment to make sure that they're not getting sea star wasting disease and that they're continuing to grow. When you're looking in the tide pools at Otter Rock, you will see different types of snails. You'll see the different kinds of chitons, the gumbo chitons and things like that, the urchins. Those are all grazers that are animals that are feeding on that algae.